Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another video about a bootloader on a Moto G4 Plus. Wait, what? Yes, you heard it right. It's not a Xiaomi, it's not a OnePlus, it's, it's not an Apple device. Well, I got my hands on a Moto G4 Plus and uh, this phone seems to have that ghost touchscreen problem because of which I tried to unlock the bootloader, I tried to go ahead and flash a few different ROMs but still at you know the complete brightness there are ghost touches so that basically didn't go well so we're gonna sell this baby here but before we do that uh, I was gonna go ahead and lock the bootloader so I thought might as well share this particular experience with you guys so that if any of you are planning to do it you can go ahead and do it the download link for that particular ROM will be in the description you need to have minimal ADB and fast boot a USB cable make sure your phone has 50% battery and all your data would be gone so without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials let's lock the bootloader on the moto g4 plus all right guys so welcome back uh, all right so this is the g4 plus that we have now the problem here is that uh, let me show you you see this particular system update here so let me just focus for you guys yeah so this is basically a system update and probably it's because a bootloader is unlocked or something it just goes ahead and keeps failing and anyways i had to just go ahead and do that now to do that there are a few things that you need to take care of you need to have minimal adb and fast boot installed the link for that is mentioned in the description at the same time you need to have a usb cable you need to have a g4 plus at least with 50% battery preferably and make sure you have backed up all your data from this phone because it's going to erase everything no matter what you're doing with your smartphone your data is you know very very important and you should always back that up all right so to go to fast boot mode the first thing to do is just go ahead and press and hold the power button and power it off disconnect from the computer now in order to put it into fast boot mode you need to press and hold volume down and the power button together all right so that's what we're going to do power button and volume down press and hold it and then you will see this particular screen now if we go ahead and so this is basically in fast boot mode you see all these things written over here and the dead android so don't worry you're already in fast boot mode so after that just go ahead and connect your usb cable and leave the phone alone so the remaining things that we're going to do is from the computer so obviously you need a windows based computer you need to have an internet connection for the rom and everything else to be downloaded so whatever is linked in the description you need to go ahead and download that now what we're going to do next is let me just show you a thread on xda developers which has all the process mentioned here now you see this particular thread over here this is basically for ethene or ethane whatever you want to call it this is a nickname for the moto g4 plus uh, this thread has the link for adb and fastboot as well as the rom and all the step-by-step -step procedure is mentioned so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and mention this particular thread in the links in the description of this particular video so the first thing to do is once the rom is downloaded go to the downloaded file now this is our downloaded file we're going to go ahead and double click on it and we need to unzip it so we will select all the files select extract to and let me just select it to my d drive in g4 flash that's what we're going to name it let's hit okay now this should not take long if you have a normal computer like mine and if you have a very powerful computer it should not take really long at all but if you have a slow computer the extraction might take some time so don't panic just be patient and let it do let it do its thing now the next thing that you guys need to do is for example um minimal adb and fast boot so this is where I have my minimal ADB and fast boot installed. Usually for you, it would be installed in the C drive. So all you need to do is copy all these files and then go to the folder where you extracted the ROM and paste them. Now the, 
moment this is done, you're all set. Now, things to check before we proceed because going forward, if you make any mistake, you might, you just might break your phone. There is a way to unbreak it, but then that's a little complicated and I really don't want anyone to do that. So that's fine. So what we need to do is we need to ensure the phone is in the bootloader mode. The USB cable is connected. Make sure you don't lose power if you have that problem. Okay, anyways, so uh, there'll be a file called CMD here. So now we will begin the flashing. So you just need to double click on this. Control C that's copy and go to this particular window and open the CMD here file. Now the moment you right click here, it will copy this. It says okay. Now you need to type the same command again. It says okay. Now step by step, you need to go ahead and flash all these lines one by one carefully. There you go. So these are all important files of the phone software. Just go ahead and make sure you don't miss any of these. So as you can see, one by one, I'm flashing all of them. Now make sure while this is done, you don't lose connection between the phone and the computer and the computer doesn't power off because that might potentially lead to a brick of your phone. So now we are moving towards the end of this operation. Now, once again, while you do this, please do it at your own risk and please ensure you do it step by step. If required, watch this video before you do it. We're gonna follow each and everything here. We've never used Motomaker. Guys who have been using Motorola phones, y'all should be knowing what motor maker exactly is okay we are going to do a fast boot oem lock and hopefully this should work okay and the last step is fast boot reboot let's see if we've succeeded So we're gonna start the phone and let's see what happens here. Now, as you can see, it is not giving me the lock or unlocked bootloader warning. So now this process is a little lengthy, but then again, it works fine. So that is how you lock your bootloader on the Motorola Moto G4 Plus. And I really hope this video helps you guys. If there's any confusion, any questions that you guys have, please go ahead and make Please go ahead and feel free to ask them in the comment section and don't forget that there is a giveaway going on for the Xiaomi Redmi 5A. If we make it to 4000 subscribers by the end of February, we will be giving away a brand new Xiaomi Redmi 5A. Once again, thank you for your time. Goodbye.